Hey guys, it's Carrie here and I've just moved. Ah, and I'm back with the paintbrush microphone. That means another cool video. And I'm back. I've moved to Georgia. Um, I finally left Florida. The Florida man no longer has a hold on me. So I'll show you guys a little bit of the moving process and as well as our rusty rough house tour i don't have completely everything in order but i wanted to check in with you guys and show you guys what i have been up to i'm renting this place with my best friend it's a huge house i finally have a garage now which is really cool so let's get right into it All right, so you guys saw a little bit of the U-Haul truck now. Here's a mini tour of the new house. This is one of the rooms that became my office and it has so much closet space. It's a little bit smaller, but here's one of the bigger office rooms. It has such beautiful windows, same size closets, but I didn't know how I would like style it. And this is the master room and I was thinking about putting my office in here, but there's no sunlight in here, but the bathroom is phenomenal ignore me looking messy in here but i never had a tub before in a shower and it has separate toilet room in the closet is massive so i am really enjoying this house and uh, i had to come back again in my car to get more things because things did not line up right i didn't finish packing everything in time and so i managed to fit everything in my tiny little hatchback using this thing on amazon and it holds everything i'm so happy i was able to bring everything on the second trip because uh the penske rental truck was so expensive it's like a u-haul truck but it's a different company and they gave us much better rate than u-haul and i did not do all of this myself uh as you guys can see this whole footage was filmed in my pov but i actually had help with from a lot of my friends and i'm so thankful because i could not do a lot of the heavy lifting alone the rest of the stuff is just my stuff which is just a lot of junk for the most part but i didn't get a chance to sort it and i wanted to bring it to the new house since we have so much space so i wanted to show you guys how easy it is to take off because my car doesn't have a car rack per se and now we start bringing things in into my office that was the first room i've organized and put things in because that's where i draw that's where i create that's where i game so i'm like i needed to get this done asap so for the rest of this video i'm gonna be just unboxing furniture putting in my room and for this whole move in the rest of this video i did not set up a stationary camera all of this is gonna be in a pov style so i hope this is an interesting angle for you guys so it's a tiny little camera that i put on my chest and uh, yeah a lot of my furniture is super cheap i got these shelves from walmart and they've been fantastic i use them to hold a lot of my art business equipment and i have all my little white shelf a lot of my furniture i didn't really take apart um i definitely want to upgrade my desk really soon so that you guys will see the makeover video but for this video it's just me setting up this room because i didn't really have much furniture for the rest of the house you guys gonna see me going in back and forth and uh, I, I didn't have many things and it felt so nice to have a dedicated office space for my art stuff um as you guys uh can know i'm a full-time artist now this is just a recent thing i have vlogs of the beginning of the process so i make a lot of stuff to sell at conventions i'm gonna be reopening up my online store so i need a dedicated space for me to draw package orders still film my drawing videos as well i still do animation student things yes i am still in school i wanted to take a break but that will be a whole separate video while i go into that um i'll be going to it in my q a video but yeah all of this i did solo because my roommate was busy at the time they were setting up their own little things and yeah now we'll be talking about why i moved out of florida in the q a video as well but yeah for this process, setting up my PC parts, oh, that took a while. I'm, I'm a small person, guys. I had to finagle a lot of things. And you guys could see some of the view of the house. It's pretty much empty. There's just boxes everywhere. The only room I set it up was my office. And for my monitors, I had to set them up on the floor and make sure that I have everything working properly, then take them off and then put it back on again just to make sure that they work. So 
because it was really heavy for me to carry. I didn't want to break anything. So that's a little tip on if you're setting things up together and you don't always have help 100% of the time. That's the way I did it. Um, I could have had help, but I was a little bit impatient um, waiting for my friends for this part. So uh, it was so relaxing. I missed my computer. Oh man, I didn't use my main PC for months. I've been planning this trip for such a long time. I can't wait to make a video about how I plan for this, guys. I've been planning for this move for two years. Not necessarily out of Florida, but um, this is the first time that I officially moved out of my parents' house without any um, major help from like a third party company or so with my roommate definitely helped a lot but uh it, it's just a whole different experience when you're just living just by yourself without any parental figures or somebody watching over you so ah uh And guys, don't let this video fool you. All of this took months and days to do. This did not happen overnight. And as well as with the whole move, this took me several jobs to save up for a lot of the down payments because I initially made these plans in 2020 before the pandemic took over and prices have increased a lot since then. And so I had multiple different jobs before being able to live it all for this. So this was a long time in the making. I definitely can't wait to go more into details in that video since a couple people have asked me and i just took a year off of school and i did a gap year of just straight up working a bunch of different jobs and then i switched over to a really good job and then at the beginning of this year i switched over to becoming my own full-time artist that's because i needed more time for school and i grew my career a lot so i had a lot more flexibility in my income and i needed the time so that way i can go and visit a lot of these places because i imagine this is extremely difficult to do when you have a full-time job um i know it was so that's why i had to take the break but i will discuss that in other videos but i had to get a hundred feet ethernet cable from my computer i do not have a wi-fi card i do not really recommend a wi-fi card when you have a pc um especially since my router is all the way in the living room this house is super big so um the signal doesn't reach out here very well so i had to order one of those and i still need to cable manage the whole house and um I got the Amazon basic one, so I'm gonna leave the link to the one I got down below in case anybody's going through a similar thing. I got the flat head one and it took me a little bit. I was so excited when it came though. Oh man, this took a lot of planning. Oh man, with the current housing market, I was getting rejected left and right. And the original plan was for me to have four other roommates, but we still couldn't find a place in Florida. And that's also why one of the reasons that we left, but again, I'll go more in depth than that in another video but that's how the room turned out so far so subscribe for the makeover video to see how i decorate this baby and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye